Hello guys, so this is a review of the Pelican 5020 flashlight. Uh, my current flashlight is uh, this one, it's a, the Olight M2T Warrior. Uh, thing is that the power switch stopped working, as you can see it doesn't work. Also the back switch. And also one thing that I didn't like it like about this is the battery, the type of battery that it uses is uh, this one, the 618650. This one is hard to find, and um, the ones that are uh, with good power capacity, capacity are really expensive. So it's a shame that it stopped working. It used to be a nice flashlight, but well, now it worked. Uh, so I need a reliable flashlight because I can I, I can be like this. So I went ahead, I looked it up, and I bought this one, the 5020. Uh, this is the package that it comes with. It's just a blister package. The good thing is that uh, what I like this about the flashlight is that it uses four AAA batteries and the um, the package comes with four of these. Also, you can see at the back here it says, um, it, says uh, it uses four AAA. Also, what I wanted in a flashlight is the power modes because you're, you don't always use on the high power box. Sometimes you just need a, a little light. So that's good. That has a low power, medium, and high. Also, you can adjust uh, the beam. So you can have it um, here a spot or flat. Uh, just in case, I already uh, bought these uh, rechargeable batteries, the Chameleon. This is a 1100 milliamps. These are really good. So. And these are really cheap as well, so um, compared to the other type of battery of the Olight. Um, this, uh, this is aluminum, of course. Um, the size, I have big hands, so that's, this is a, kind of a medium sized flashlight. It's not that portable. Um, in your pocket, this might be noticeable because of the bulk of the top part. But that's a good thing because uh, you're going to have more uh, uh, a wider beam compared to uh, the old light, which has a little, um, you know, uh, reflector. This is bigger and we have a bigger reflector. There's more light. You can uh, shine more light in more in a more bigger in a bigger area. So that's something that I was looking for. Um, also, uh, you don't have any buttons on the side, uh, unlike the old light. You just have one big bottom at the back and also this one tells you the uh, this is green tells you the capacity of the battery when it goes to like a medium percentage uh, it becomes um, orange and when it's red you need to uh, change this or charge it uh, to work this out it's really easy uh, just hit once another one another one and you can you know change the um, the power modes if you want to turn it off you have to wait like a second like this so if i hit once another one it turns off but if you want to change a mode you have to do it quickly one two three so this is the low side and then one more to turn it off it has a fourth setting which is the uh, strobe one two three four like that uh the tactile feedback is really nice i really like it and it's flashed to the body. So if you put it like this, it won't, um, it won't uh, be uh, turned on. So yeah, I really like it. Uh, the power is good. I already test, tested this inside my car during the daylight. And what I like is that when you have it to spot like this, you can shine really uh, where you want to. Or if you want just a wide spect a spectrum of light, you just put it on the uh, flood side. So yeah, really happy with this, especially it uses uh, just, just regular batteries. I would recommend if you ever buy these kind of flashlights, uh, just look for one that uses a regular battery, AA, AAA. Don't go for the 18650 because those batteries are pain in the ass to find. And if you find a good one, it's really, really expensive. So um, yeah, I mean, if you ever uh, looking, if you are looking for this flashlight, really, I really recommend it because the price is good. Uh, there's another Pelicans uh, that are more expensive, but because they are rechargeable. Uh, you know what, you can buy these uh, these batteries and I have a, a, a nice charger for this, which is, I'm gonna show you if you just quickly uh, 
This is the charger that I use just from Amazon. It is an intelligent charger. It charges many kinds of batteries. And I mostly uh, have my remote controls, all my stuff with rechargeable batteries. So in that way, I can save some money. And then finally, um, you open it up from the back like this. And this is uh, the housing for the AAA batteries. You can see it's just like a magazine. You can put it in there and you put it back in. Uh, this um, this flashlight has a like a rubber ring, so it, it is waterproof. It shouldn't be a problem to uh, put it uh, to be exposed to water. I'm not sure if it can be sub submerged, even though here it says it is um, IPX8, so you can you can submerge it. I, I believe you can. So yeah. So this was a quick just uh, overview and review of the Pelican 5020. If you are looking for this, just buy it. It's a nice flashlight. It feels really good. It's not that heavy, and I really like the the beam adjustment and that it uses just regular batteries. All right, thank you.